Mike Zero, Foxtrot, X-Ray, Bravo, Digital, Ham Radio, Diary. Perfect speed. So you've got a FT70, Yesu, and you've decided to get yourself a hotspot. So here it is. You've just got it. It's preloaded with an image, but it hasn't got your Wi-Fi details on. So let's get them on the SD card and let's uh, configure and set up, get this thing connected to the, you know, YSX system. And I'll just show you the where the SD card is, which is here. It's a bit dark. Uh, and you just, you just slide it out like so. And um, it comes out that way and it will go back in that way as well. Just be careful to get it in the little slot that's there when you do that otherwise it won't go in properly so let's let's get an adapter like this one here the usb adapter and then we'll get the sd card we'll slip it out here slip it in there like so and then we're going to plug that into our um, laptop pc and we're going to go to pistar system to set it up and then we'll bring it back and put it back into the jumbo and boot up as well so we've um, we've got our SD card in the adapter plugged into our laptop so this is where what we want to achieve is to get to this PiStar page so we can put in our settings so how are we going to do that so go to pistar.uk and you'll have this page here you've got all these selections on the left Go down to the one here on the left called Pi Star Tools. There you are. And in a light grey, you'll see where it says Wi Fi Builder. Select that. Now, this is where we're going to put in our SSID and our basically our username and password for our home router. Now, it needs to be the same one that you would say use for your laptop and computer at home and even your phone because they all need to be on the same network. So, let's just make one up for now. So we'll just call it my hotspot as a username and a password. We'll call it my jumbo. That's just a random one, but you'll know your own one. When you click submit, a file will appear down here on the left. So click submit. So we're creating what they call it's called a WPA file, and it says it here: WPA supplicant conf. It's basically a file that you're going to put in your SD card. But when, the, when you put it back into the jumbo spot, when the jumbo spot boots up, it will instantly know the username and password of your router and it will connect and be part of the network. So click submit. So here's the file. So literally just, um, I would click the arrow, click show in folder, uh, and then I would select it and I would right click your mouse and click copy. Just hold that in there. Then you want to find, you've plugged in the SD card, so you need to find that. Now I just click file here at the bottom and it appears, but you could put in here, put in this, if you're in Windows 10 like I am, this PC and um, scroll down and look, there it is there. It's, it's going to be called boot, if it's, if, you've if it's got the correct image on it when you bought it, it's going to be a boot image, so boot image here. So all we do is just click that. You can make it bigger if you want. Right click anywhere and paste. Click paste because you've copied it in there. Now scroll to the bottom. You see there's a couple here, but we only want one. So yours will just say WPA sub to come. But once you've done that, then you it's in there. Now you literally just have to take the SD card out and put it back into the jumbo spot. Okay, we've got our SD card out of the PC. I'm gonna put it into my jumbo spot here. Just slips in there that way round. I've taken the case off because I find it easier, but you don't have to. So next thing to do is to power it up. So you just get your micro USB, about one amp, five vo volts is what you need. And just plug it in and the whole thing will start flashing. Now you work the TV screen, the little OLED screen won't start working yet. We've got a, a bit more to configure yet, so let's uh, let's go back to the laptop PC and let's work out how we can actually find this 
uh, in our browser and then change the settings so that it would work on our C4FM YSX uh, radios. Okay, so you've got the SD card uh, back in the in the hot spot. Um, type in this. Type in pi or lowercase dash s t a r dot local with a, a slash like that. And hit enter. Now, if you were like me on Windows 10, you'll get it'll sort of show it in blue. So click that. Now you could put HTTP in front. It will say this, and then it will, on its own, it will say, it will ask for a username and password. So this is basically saying, right, you've connected to me. So that's good news. Now log in and set me up for for what you want to do. So the username is pi dash s t a r lowercase pi dash star and then the password for, for all these hotspots is r a s p b e r r y and that's for all these jumbo hotspots pi star system log in and you're going to get to this page here so what we've got to do now is we've got to tell it who we are and what we're going to use and what we're going to use it for so you're in the basically the configuration page so I'm going to put in my uh, frequency that I use for my um, C4FM hotspot, which is 431.550. That's what I use. Now check your band plan to make sure you're okay. And then I put in my call sign, M0 in caps, M0FXB. Uh, and I... Um, <clears throat> The C4 FM, C4 FM is one of the easiest ones to set up. So don't touch this at the top. You've got the little blue selection here, simplex node, MMDVM. I haven't changed that. That's default. Leave that alone. Get your call sign in there, your frequency in there, and then hit apply changes. Now it does take a, a minute to reboot. So on this page, We've now got YSF selected and we've got our modem. It's all looking good. And by default, if you go down further, Yesu System Fusion Configuration, by default, default, um, it's gone to FCS00290, American Link Wires X, probably because that's what I used before. And it remembers. But you've got a long list here of things you can choose. Now, you can change on the radio, <clears throat> but you also can change on the using this PyStar page. So I'll just show you the dashboard and that will show you the stations that are coming in. So you just click dashboard and as stations come in and whenever you key the microphone, you will see this page and it will be a long list. Right, so next thing we need to do is just, we're gonna show you, well, I think the next thing will be, let's program a channel into, um, into our FT70 or FT3D. Let's do that and then we'll show you the hotspot working with the channel and that's that's the video done. So let's just configure the FT70 with a channel frequency to connect to our jumbo hotspot. So what you do is first thing go into VFO mode by pushing VM here. So that's memory mode that's VM. Now you with a jumbo hotspot, it's simplex, so you don't want a tone and you don't want a shift. So to just, there's nothing up here, there's no T and there's no shift showing, but if there was, let's just say you wanted to get rid of the tone. So you push F number five, and at the moment it says off, but let's say yours was on tone, just turn it off like so. Okay, hit F again. And then if you had a minus shift, just go F, then hit the zero, See, you want simplex. If yours is on repeater minus or repeater plus, just change it to simplex and hit F. So now you've got a simplex channel, no shift, no tone. Then the next thing is you want to get it into DN mode. So see it says mode here on to the left of number one. Just hit mode until it says DN. Power-wise, it's up to you if you want to change, change the power. 
If you do want to change the power, just press F1 and then you can choose low, middle, high. So let's just go middle for now. So that's that setup, but we want to get it in the memory and give it a name as well. So hold down the VM button here. Now, when it flashes, you can see lots of things there. When it flashes, the channel is available blank. So we'll go to it until it flashes. So 38 is flashing. Now we're going to hold down VM again. And it's going to let us name it now. So we're going to start turning the, the top knob here. I know the screen's a bit blurry. And we're going to just going to call it Hotspot. But to save start time, we're going to just go HP. <clears throat> You've got numbers in there as well if you want. So we just turn the big knob. Like so, and then to go across, select band button. And then we're going to go to P. There you are. HP, that will do for now. And then hold down the VM button again. And now to find that channel, 38, just push, because you, it's put you straight into VFO mode. You want to go back into memory mode. There you go, HP. And if you'd ever wanted to see the frequency of that, if you've forgotten the frequency, just briefly press F. And look, it shows you the frequency. Now, did I... I think the frequency I should have put in was 431550, so we can do that. So go back into VFO mode. Go 431550. We know how to get rid of all the tones and all that, so just hold down the VM. We've got it in DN mode. Hold down the VM again to 39. Hold down VM, let's put in HP again. Push band. LMNLP. And we'll add another letter so we don't get confused. So we'll, we'll add a number. We'll call it HP2. There you go. Hold down VM. And then to just double check, we're going to hit VM again. 39 HP2 and to see the frequency and that's the frequency that needs to be in your jumbo hotspot so um, obviously you can choose the frequency that suits you 73 hope this helps here we are it's all up and running you can see the screen it's we're on hubnet at the moment but it will save fusion in the room that you're in there's the memory channel and even on the FT70 you will get the call signs come in of the link. Now it says M0XHN because that's the link um, that's being used. So yeah, it's well worth it. And then we'll just show you on the next part how to use sort of how you how to use the radio to connect to wires X and change rooms. And uh, so we'll move on to that. So when it's up and running, go to your dashboard. Select dashboard here. And as people speak, and you'll hear them, it'll go red for TX. And you'll get call signs come on the radio, and you'll get a list of everyone talking. And on the, on the left here, it just says that you're in YSF, and you're listening. There's your frequency and your, um, your hat version. And it says we're linked to Hubnet. And so this is what you're going to see when it's all up and running. And obviously, you've got a configuration page where you can update and change things. FXB, it's such a good radio, the FT70. It's a, to me, it's a must-have C4FM radio. It just, it just looks the part. It's, you know, it's got keyboard. It's got the right colours, and the LEDs flash and change colour and go red when you transmit. I, don't, I just think you've got to have one. They're so, such good value. You pick them up, 130 pound second half. But anyway, um, just a video now, just to show you how to connect to Wisex rooms and store them into your into your memories. Zero FXB, just a quick overview of how to sort of connect to wires X rooms on the FT70. So um, here we are. We've got the frequency set the same as my hotspot, which is a MMDVM jumbo spot with Pi Star system. So let's just say you want to 
connect to wires X so just hit um, F then AMS you'll hear that noise so we're now connected to the wires X system to the default room that's on your hotspot so let's just say we want to join a room um, what you do is turn the large knob till it to the e and en with a hash at the front type in a room you want to join so we'll go uh we'll try america link two one oh eight oh and then hit ams at the bottom here and you can see we've connected to america link and it says it on the screen if you want to save that to a memory there's only five on here for the WiseX system. Turn, see we've got C1, C2, C3. These are all previously stored memories. So let's say we want to store it on C1. Um, hold down. When you're on, go back to the CN bit there and hold down one. You hear a beep. So now when you turn it to C1, I know I've, I've saved it a few times, it now says America Link. Now if you want to disconnect from that room, uh, hold down the band key. And it says disconnected. Um, let's uh, connect to another room. So turn back to EN. Let's put in CQUK 277 nine three and then hit the AMS button again so we're in CQ UK as you can hear there's there's activity now let's see if it will let me store that um, even when someone's talking so I just when we're on still on the CN or connected channel I'll try number two hold down number two and it did beep then if we scroll through to C C2 there it is CQ UK now we can disconnect just by holding down the band it, well, it won't let me disconnect until they've stopped speaking um, but that's what how you disconnect and it will say disconnect and then if you want to go back to your normal screen hold down the mode button here and then what's happened is we're still connected because the hotspot is still connected on that frequency so you can still hear it but you're now back to your you know normal vfo or memories your memories as vm i've stored this in the memory and you can still flip through all your memories so um i hope this helps it's a it's a, it's a nifty little radio and it works so well uh with a hotspot uh, and it's such good value. Please subscribe to this channel, 73.